Yo, what's up guys? It's Wild Strong and DSG and welcome to another video. This is something different. This is the gameplay uh, trailer for Gamescom and FIFA 13. So yes, um, I'm going to be bringing you my personal thoughts and also some features which could be a main thing in FIFA 13. But the first thing I want to go on to is first person in FIFA 13. Is this going to be a main feature or is this just something to spice up the trailer? We did actually see this in Herb Seth's video where he added in for FIFA 12 and it was like, oh, here we go. We've actually got maybe some first person in it. So, is it going to be a knee? Are you excited for first person? Me personally, I've been waiting for it for ages. So, this crap back on into this guy's Messi doing his official, official celebration. Okay, let me just stop it there just for a moment. You'll be able to see just to your left FIFA Seasons. What is this? What is FIFA Season? Usually, if it's head to head, they advertise it to say head to head season. So, what is FIFA Season? They bring in a new feature. Is this something to do with past FIFAs? You can try out new old features, which was in um, FIFA. In the past FIFAs even. Maybe we got some more features coming in. This looks pretty good. Eh? But there's a lot of new stuff in this. Which people are, um, which I've noticed. Um, this unpredictable thing. This is just I think them improving. Like all the attacking intelligence. The first touch control and stuff. Random scorpion kick. But uh, yeah. It, it, this is just uh, some random cool skills. But we do have head to head seasons. And the reason I'm coming on to this. Head to head is a, a kind of a new interface. You see now they actually give you options for caps to actually do. Remember in FIFA 9 Ultimate Team. You had a choice of caps and you can work your way up to the best. It's similar to the new one. But it looks like they've gone with a similar style. In a trophy cabinet type room. And for head to head season. For it to have it to have more objectives. Because when people get to it the first season. You are kind of like. What's the point in this? There's actually no point in playing it anymore. So, yeah. So, yes, yeah, let's carry on with the trailer impact engine stuff. I got a little feature coming up the uh, Burkham flick, but kind of reversed. So, they tried it out. I don't know if any of the players did not 100%, but they, we got this wall which you can move. But this is coming up now match day. Okay, so the first thing I actually want to look into is this player rating system in the look like. It looks like players will go up, players will go down. Um, in the past few years, we have had this. Adidas live season, but it looks like they bring it in uh, match day summary So maybe we could get live rigged in so if a player plays really well one weekend We're gonna get a better version of him in the standard FIFA so imagine having in forms but in the standard FIFA. So let me show you another feature. Okay, on this bit, we kind of get the idea on how the team layout's gonna be when you load up your team And I gotta say I really like it. It looks pretty sleek if I'm totally honest so with the match day if I was you guys, don't take these as official ratings. See, 86, 85, 83, that's more like, that could be right. But uh, to be honest, I think that uh, not all the ratings are completed yet. So with this new match day feature, it's the uh, team statistics, I believe, because I've seen a button there and it says on. So it looks like you can go into games and play how that team played that weekend. So if your team played awesome you get a better rated team on whatever EA have actually come across to you. And I think this actually is a nice feature. It brings in like a, maybe a challenge for us YouTube makers. We can bring in a little chance for entertainment value. It's kind of an alternative to, um, uh, what do you call it, such as like the challenge live and etc. It looks like as well it's going to be for your favourite team, not just while well, they actually power up there. Like, for example, there you see this, select fixtures. It was showing you that, right, okay, you can pick your favorite team, but you can do other fixtures. They are Kupian, they are Man United, and many other ones. But let's get back into this trailer. Okay, there's the match day stuff that we were just talking about. Um, first cut, touch control, they advertise in this little bit. It's the brand new feature they brought in, so there's no surprise. But skill games, I didn't want to freeze this because we kind of already know what it is. But the complete dribbling guys I want to mention straight away. This should finally make Messi good. And it kind of gives that alternative for people that don't do skill like myself. I've been using precision dribbling for ages. So, yeah, maybe. Maybe we could have something else in there. And it could just bring that, like, you can try new stuff with the uh, precision dribbling. Or complete dribbling now. Okay, back into the trailer, guys, but I'm going to stop very soon again. FIFA 12, Ultimate Team. This little screenshot can tell you a lot of things. I want to mention one thing. It looks like you could be starting off with a team. Like, they automatically give you a team, maybe, which you practice around. Maybe for the newbie-type people who are just like, I don't know how to play this game. What shall I do? 
maybe this is the answer. You select the player, you build a team around him, just they give you players or something down those lines, maybe. Um, I think that's a quality feature if that's a start, or maybe they just give you a player uh, just for that enjoyment. Um, but I don't think that's going to be in there, because EA, they want you to earn your stuff, they just don't want you to give it to you. So I got a feeling it is actually going to be um, for the fact that you start off with a team, you learn now uh, with the chemistry, Maybe you have a little tutorial at the start or something like that, which I think is going to be very, very good. Especially for new players coming in. Even myself, I would listen to it, just watch it out, see what it actually is like. But yeah, this crap back on into the trailer. Never Another screenshot for you guys. This, you may have to make your screen bigger on YouTube. If, if you don't know how to land the bottom right hand corner of the tab, click like the middle one and put it on HD. Right, okay, I got one thing I want to mention. There is a brand new interface. It looks like they're going with the web app type style. They've got the bar going across. What do you think of that, guys? Tell me what you think. This is the PC version, so if you're wondering what FIFA points is, that's what that is. Right, we have got several features. We got the team of the week on there, of course, which is no surprise. But one thing which actually spotted out to me straight away, online season. So is head to head season going into FIFA 12, uh, FIFA 13 Ultimate Team? Is it going to be an objective to FIFA now? Like me, I just play single matches. Now, if I can get promoted, if it, if it's a, a like a reward after getting promoted, such as. Uh, uh, um, say a bunch of coins or something down those lines, Edward Seasons in Ultimate Team will be the best thing which I think they've actually created in my opinion. Okay, just to the right of that, you'll be able to see like they bring in a lot more easy to find stuff, like just to the right of the team of the, se uh, team of the week is player friend squad. Remember last year you had the like, I, to be honest I didn't know how to get it, I don't know how you did it, but now we have a feature there straight off the bat. Also, headwear seasons will be in uh, single player, and the reason they actually you can confirm it's headwear season, they actually have division five in uh, each one, and yeah, you can also see the sale of cars, which we're actually gonna mo move on to right now. Okay, this is what your team will look like when you play the game. It looks like they've scrapped the stadium idea. Do you like the stadium? Because I've quite liked it. It didn't feel like it was. I don't know, it had a bit of depth to it, in my opinion. But here we get to see some of the cards, what the cards actually look like. I'd like to stress out this straight away, is that this isn't confirmed for the ratings. The ratings have yet to be changed. And I got a feeling that some of the people which are not shinies will actually be shiny, such as like of Honda um, and many other players. I can't that you see that much. It's quite blurry on my screen. But what do you think of this, guys? From the start, we've seen that, that you actually slept Messi, so maybe you actually get your player... Um, into the your team by uh, selecting Messi and whatnot. You actually don't know. You don't know if uh, this is the case. But um, the cards, I actually quite like them. They do look pretty nice in my opinion. It's the first year where I've gone. Actually, I actually like these cards. They are really nice, um, especially with the gameplay. When I played it, I was like, actually, this is really good. It's quite easy to adapt to, in my personal opinion. Um, you can see in the bottom right-hand corner as well. Um, is that they got like your level and stuff and like your coins? So I'm I'm hoping you actually earn coins from Ultimate Team, uh, not coins or your like uh, EA Sports coin type thing. Um, you see everything's basically the same except for the background. I would say I'm glad they've kept the pitch because I I think that add a bit more realism to it, um, in my opinion anyway. But uh, anyway, this crap back on in with the trailer. Okay, let's carry this on. But I'm gonna be stopping again very soon. This. What he does, you'll be able to see the rest of it in a moment. You watch it, if I actually watch the trailer with me, so when I pause it and say, it's a bit late now, but he actually dummies it but flings his leg forward like if he was doing a follow through on the kick. So, is this going to be a five star dummy or something down those lines? Is it going to be a n the new X and A e type thing or is it just going to be for the five star? And if it is a five star, we do have a clue that Boateng will be 5 star skills, but we don't actually know this. Is it is this a higher rated skill or not? Is this feature necessary? Guys, post in the comments. It makes it real more realistic. People do it in real life, of course. So, it's better than... it. I don't know. It looks good. It just brings out a little bit more to uh, FIFA, in my opinion. Right, I'm going to be starting the video once again now. So, in the past trailers... People have bashed the attack in. We've all all we've had is attack and attack and attack. Look how good our attack is. But do I have a feeling they've improved the defense? Does the player run onto the line? Does he defend you? If one if he knows it, is it more of a defensive intelligence in the game now? Does he if he sees his defender going to 
he got the ball, right, he's going to win that. Or even if he does it, shall I go on the line? Yes. Does he run on the line? Yes, he does. So, what do you think, guys? Do you think that uh, this is good? I'm glad they improved it. Or is it just, this is a thing to be like, oh, yeah, we have actually improved the trailer, the defense a little bit in the trailer. But I hope this is the case. If I can do that, I will concede so many less headed goals. It will be phenomenal. And also, like, can hurt score less. But see, best FIFA yet from GameSpot. I ain't gonna lie, guys. It's the best FIFA I have ever played yet, in my opinion. Time to go free kicks. What the? Wait, what? Wait, wait sorry, sorry about that, guys. That was the first time I've actually seen this. I didn't actually notice it at the start. I was, I completely drilled. So that's why that was kind of that overreaction because I didn't expect it to carry on. Uh, but. It looks like you can flick up. <laughs> you can flick up from the free kicks, and uh, it's. Do people do it in real life? Yeah, of course they can. They can do it whenever they want. So, well, I think it's cool that they brought it in anyway. So, uh, yeah, f little free kicks. You can score volleys from free kicks, and now load more options with free kicks. In my opinion, it is. I'm so glad that they've bring brought in this so many options. In my opinion, anyway. So, yes, guys, this crap bag on it today. Okay, so as I said, use the free kick. Great save from Joe Art, the overpowered Joe Art. It looks like, I think this that may be just an issue with the first touch control. Um, and a lovely volley from Benzema there. I want to say thanks for watching, guys. I hope, ooh, pure silence a minute. Lovely goal. Join the club, ladies and gentlemen. FIFA 13 coming to you. 28th of September. But, guys, I want to say thanks for watching. Have I missed anything? Did you notice anything? Be sure to post it in the comments below. If you did, so I'd like to say thanks, guys, and I'm looking forward to FIFA 13 because I'm pumped, and this thing is going to be amazing. I'll see you guys next time, and be sure to check out my previous video, and maybe later on today, if, uh, yeah, maybe later on today, I'll upload a video if the sub boxes don't fail. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye. Be sure to drop a video, like, and all that cool stuff. Bye.